everybody. Today I am making a delicious bacon, lettuce, and tomato egg salad for you with a nice creamy shallot vinaigrette dressing that is out of this world. And this is actually a recipe recreation. You know how I like to do those. And uh, this one was from a restaurant in uh, Pebble Beach on the 17 mile drive called The Bench. Have you ever been there? Let me know down in the comments. Fabulous restaurant. Anyway, Several of us had this salad at the table and everybody that had it loved it. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So we're gonna start our recipe off by making our dressing because that, that's what you need to start with first so it has a chance for all those flavors to kind of mingle and get together and really develop. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna start here with some mayo. I'm using avocado mayo here. Check this label out. Chosen Foods, it's a great uh, avocado-based mayonnaise that I think you should try. Uh, a lot of good ingredients in here and of course it's made with avocado. So we're gonna go ahead and put a couple of tablespoons of that in our bowl. Next goes some Dijon mustard, some garlic powder, and here we're gonna do some white balsamic reduction. This is the one I used, and I tell you, reduction means that it's gonna be much thicker and more syrupy, the flavors are gonna be more concentrated, and uh, it's, it's really good, it's gonna be sweeter as well. Next is some white vinegar. We're gonna put in a little bit of salt and some cracked pepper. Take a whisk and we'll blend that up, get that started. So now we're gonna take our shallot, I peeled it off, and we're gonna slice this with the super fine dice. So I'm gonna do some, the usual, you know, horizontal cuts. And then we'll do some vertical cuts. And then when I go to slice it, you can see we've already got a nice, really fine dice. And that's what we need to have in this. And then I'm gonna run my knife through this some more. And then we're gonna take about two tablespoons worth of these uh, shallots and toss them into our dressing. And just give that a little stir. So now we just have to whisk in our oil. So I got some olive oil here. So go ahead and continue to whisk the olive oil in, drizzling it in nice and slow so that it will emulsify and become nice and creamy. All right, so now I'm just gonna pour this into my little mason jar here and we're gonna store it in the fridge until we're ready to use it on our salad. So now that we have our dressing done, we're gonna start with making some bacon. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole thing here. I have a, a video if some of you don't know how to make bacon or you wanna learn how to make it nice and flat and evenly cooked, I've got a video for you. Um, but otherwise, we're gonna start here and uh, I'll just cook up the bacon. I also have some red onions right here that I'm gonna make. Now that the bacon's done, I'm gonna take it out and lay it right over here on my plate with a towel, paper towel on it to drain. Now, depending on how much grease is left in your pan, you want about a you know, teaspoon or two in there. I'm just gonna go with it, it's not a lot. My bacon was pretty lean. So I'm gonna toss my red onions in there. It's gonna pick up all that nice uh, bacon grease and really add some nice flavor to these onions. And we're just gonna cook them for a minute. You know, maybe two or three minutes. Just you know, pick up that flavor, soften just a bit. Nothing like grilled onions on your salad. I have my temperature on medium uh, heat right now. So next what we have to do is just start to assemble our salad and the very last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook up an egg over easy and that's gonna go on top of the salad. Okay, after about two minutes of this, I'm gonna take these out. Place them right back in the dish. So now I'm at the point where I'm gonna put the salad together, although we haven't cooked our egg yet. I'm gonna leave that for the very last thing because when I serve this up, that's gonna be the last thing to go on. Just takes a couple minutes to make. And then I want it to go out and be warm when the person eating it gets to eat it. So we're gonna start off here by, I'm gonna slice up. I have some cherry tomatoes, which I'm gonna cut in half. 
I've got my bacon that's cooked. I'm going to chop that up into bite-sized pieces. And I have my avocado, which I'm going to cut into chunks. Make sure you shake up your dressing a little bit before you put it in. And you can either pour it out or spoon it out. and add a little more dressing if you need it. Okay, so I'm gonna drop in the tomatoes, of course the bacon, and give that a toss, come back here. Stay in the bowl, bacon. And I'm gonna toss in some of these beautifully grilled red onions. I'm going to save a few for the top. I'm going to go for another little splash. I'm going to toss in this beautiful avocado that was perfectly ripe and I cut it into chunks as you can see. And again I'm going to save some of this for on top as well because it just looks great. Yeah, I'm just going to give that a nice toss. Look at that. Beautiful. All right so now we're going to run over to the stove I'm going to make that egg and then we're going to put it all together on that plate. Okay, so I've got my pastured egg here and I'm going to crack it in a bowl, not in the pan just because if they get any shells it's much easier to get it out of a little bowl than it is out of the pan when it starts cooking. So no shells, we're good. Time to put, uh, I've got a pat of butter here. I'm using pastured butter, I like that. It's a little too hot here when your pan gets too hot. Take it off. Let it cool a little bit. We don't want to cook this egg too quickly. This is over easy, remember? Yeah, I've got the, the temperature on absolute low. Okay, and you want to use a spatula and you want to use a non-stick pan for this. Okay, so I'm gonna take my egg and I'm gonna place it in the pan gently to one side. I'm gonna take my spatula and kind of just contain it as it spreads out a little bit, just so it's a manageable size. I don't want it to be, you know, spread out the, the whole pan, right? And I'm gonna let that cook you can see the whites are still very clear. We want to get them to be white before we flip it over. Now you can try and flip it over with a spatula if you want. I'm going to flip it in the pan, but we're not there yet because there's still too much clear in our egg white. We're almost there. I'm going to start getting my egg in position, which means I'm going to place it on the other side of the pan, like you can see I'm doing. So you want it to be nice and, you know, movable. So I think I'm ready to flip. All right, guys, wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, I'll leave it there for maybe 30 seconds. Take it off. It's going right on the salad. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to serve this up. Gorgeous, gorgeous salad. I cannot wait to dig into this. It's so yummy. Got a couple more grilled onions. I'm just going to kind of toss them on top. A little bit more avocado. This It's so beautiful, and it's so darn flavorful. Okay, so here's our egg. We're just going to gently lay it right on top of our salad. And you can take a little more dressing if you want and just drizzle a little bit around. Let's finish this up. I'm going to put just a touch of salt on my egg and a little bit of freshly cracked pepper. All right, I'm going to cut into this and take a bite. Hopefully the yolk isn't too... Oh, that's perfect. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You guys are going to have to try this. It is so good. There are so many wonderful flavors going on here, guys. You're going to love it. The bacon, the grilled onions, the avocado, and that dressing. Don't tell the bench I said this, but I think my dressing's a little better than theirs. It is delicious, guys. And then you've got the easy egg, I mean, the easy over egg. Just phenomenal. Really good flavors. Not too difficult to make, pretty simple. You're gonna love it. So thanks so much for watching. It tags somebody who you think might enjoy this salad. Share the recipe, it really helps me out. So thanks again for watching. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel and wanna see more delicious recipes like this, go ahead and click that button right up there. There's right at the end of the video and the one down below it says subscribe. Click the bell next to it and you'll be notified when my new videos come out and you won't miss any. And we'll see you next time. Take care.